Hi there, I'm Rachel. I'm a third year student at the University of Lincoln and I'm here to show you some of my favourite walking routes in and around Lincoln. So we're into our third lockdown now and I'm sure you, just like me, are struggling to find a new route to walk on your daily exercise. Here I want to share with you my top five walks for in and around Lincoln. So my first walk is the classic walk to the Pie Wipe Inn. So for those of you who don't know, the Pie Wipe Inn is along the Fosdyke Canal. The entire walk up the canal is six miles long, but the route that I'm talking about is only four. It's two miles there and two miles back. To get there, you would walk on the adjacent side to Signet Wharf and Lincoln Courts. This is a popular cycle route, so please be careful of cyclists. Now my next route I'd like to talk about is the classic route to the West Common. This route itself is three and three quarter miles long. It's a wonderful opportunity to see the cathedral from a different point of view, as well as see those lovely horses. To get there, I would recommend walking up Car Home Road, right to the end of the West Common, walk up and then round and then down the middle. The West Common is approximately 100 hectares big, so it is quite a long route and you will need your wellies for this one. Now my next route is the classic route to the cathedral. You can pass the castle at the same time. This is a shorter route at around two miles long. Along this route, you get the opportunity to see Steep Hill, the castle, the cathedral, and a bit of the Bale Gate. The cathedral has some amazing photo opportunities. So if you do take any photos up there, please feel free to tag us. Now my next route is to the Arboretum. If you didn't know the Arboretum was there, you wouldn't believe it existed. Um, it's along Monks Road. If you keep on going past the college, it's just down the end to the left. The walk itself is around two and a half miles long and the Arboretum is a lovely area. There's a bandstand, there's a park for kids and it is quite frequently hosted for events. Pride in 2019 was hosted there and the university often use it for events. Now my final route is the South Common. Again, if you didn't live near it, you wouldn't know it existed. This is a slightly longer route at three and a half miles, but you just continue down the high street rather than up to the cathedral. You get to a roundabout and it's on the left. If you're not a fan of horses, but you still want to go to a common, I would recommend South Common. There are no horses there as far as I'm aware. Just like West Common, I recommend walking along the outside through the middle and then round. You will pass the community allotments and it is another one that would require wellies. If you want a clearer way to map out your routes, I would recommend using the community map created by the Student Union. Lucy, the Vice President of Wellbeing and Community, has created this map. It's up on the Student Union website as we speak and it's a way of viewing all businesses, um, accessibility areas and those that have asked for Angela. If you head to the Student Union website and just type in community map, it will come up for you there. So those were my top five walking routes in and around Lincoln. I hope you enjoyed it and please stay safe.